Hello, YT. This is Chili D here. And as you know, I reached my one year mark. And I used the um, really other de desert 99% aloe vera jelly. And it's uh, no parabens, no artificial coloring, or no animal testing. And I liked it. But I'm also going to start interlocking because I have to wash my hair more often. And palm rolling does not last long enough to keep my hair looking a little neat. Because I have to wash my hair every at least once a week or once every two weeks due to the scales on my scalp from the lupus. And it's not. I'm back. That was my daughter calling me. She was video chatting me. Excuse the background. Because, as you know, I'm looking for a home, and because I moved out of, I moved from Sacramento, California to Tennessee, and I'm starting over fresh. I just gave up everything. I brought my father back to Tennessee because that's where he's from. I originally lived in Gary. I originally lived in Gary, Indiana, and I <coughs> moved to California because my lupus flared up. I had to have heart surgery, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I moved to California to California, being my mom and my sister. Then my father moved to California three years ago because his wife died and he moved to California three years, three, four years ago. And he's older, he's 65, and he was ready to come back to Tennessee to be around his family, his brothers and sisters, because they're all getting older. And I'm glad I brought him back because last month he lost his older brother. And I'm glad he had a chance to spend some time with him before he passed away. So, anyways, and you have to, you know, like the back you see is half done. Well, when I moved into this apartment, the patio though didn't work. It was off track and all that, and so instead of fixing it, they took the whole door out, the whole patio door out, and put this door in behind me and plastered up the wall, put in a uh, drywall and stuff. And that was, what's it, December? That was either end of October, early November. And they were supposed to come back and paint, sand this down and paint over it. That wasn't done. My stove, the back iron on my stove, the whole thing came out, so you couldn't cook on it on, on that back eye. It took them all the way till November to fix it, and this was in September. So I'm willing to take a chance on breaking my lease for this place because um, come to find out that they're selling these buildings in this complex. They're selling the buildings, and I guess they don't management and the owners don't want to spend too much money on fixing them up. You know, they want to leave all that on the new owners if somebody decides to buy them. I have a front window that you can pull the whole lower end of the window out. It don't go up. It don't come down. You just pull it out. Um, the other window in the bedroom, you can't let all the way down. The window don't go all the way down. Uh, the furnace. If you put it on 75, it's cold in here. It was well, not cold now, but you put it on 75. And they know it's below 75, the heater won't come on. You have to put it on 85, 80, 85, 90 and burn the hell up out yourself for it to heat the place up. So they finally came out last week sometime and changed the thermostat. And I told them what was going on. And it's still doing the same thing. You got to put it on 85, 90 for it to kick on. Then you got to burn your damn self up. You know what I'm saying? And then turn it down. So you can keep warm. I'm just willing to break my lease and have them go to court because I have recordings of all that. But anyway, just as long as you know your tenure landlord laws, you can get over. You can get it. You can get, get out of paying rent where you live at. If you got crappy management and landlords. But I, anyways, like I say, I'm on my hair. So I've been using, I use this. And I showed you to this early in this video, and I like it. But I'm going to start <coughs> interlocking and then palm rolling down the length of my locks to battle the frizz.
well not battle it, but to try to calm it down some because I have to wash my hair frequently. And then I also have to say this. Before you get locks, please, oh, please, research. Research, because you have to have a lot of patience when you first get in locks. Your locks are not going, all right off the bat, not going to look like someone who have locks, who have had locks for two, three, four, five, you know, umpteen years. Your locks are not going to look like that right off the bat. Okay. You got to go through all these stages, as you call the ugly stage, but I call it the rebellious stage because that's when your locks will do whatever they want to do. And you have to have patience for that. It's not going to look like a lock or dread or, as you call it, lock up overnight. It takes time. And it depends on the texture of your hair also. Like my older son, his hair is very kinky. So his hair took real fast, but I did <coughs> Instant locks on him. But still, it took very fast. He is locked up still fast, uh, conformed faster than my son, who I did, his inst I did his instant locks in July. And he is just not been getting to where they will stay firm. You know, because his hair is softer. But it still looks like locks, but I'm just saying it took a little longer for it to really just lock, lock. Because of the texture of his hair. It took my hair a minute to lock. Because of the texture of my hair. My hair is soft. And I had to use other methods. To get it to lock faster. Sea salt method. I used that for a little while. But you can't use too much of that. Because in your scalp itch. You lightly spritz it. Every two three days. I learned my lesson with that. I over spritzed it. One time did it do too much and I had salt in my hair. You could see it and my scalp was on fire and just itching so bad. And then I took my little crochet needle and I also went in along the shaft of my locks, you know, to get it to, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, to get it to look like this, you know, to get it to form into a lock also due to my hair being so soft. It would probably took my hair two years to lock. Maybe. I'm not for sure. I'm just guessing, guessing about that. But anyway, you know, that's all I wanted to say about my locks and other people. Well, that's not all, but well, other people who get in locks because I see people who, not throwing no shade or anything to anyone who I'm subscribed to or who I've watched, but I've seen people who get locks, keep them for a month, two months. Then they say, oh, I didn't want them no more. I couldn't deal with it because they didn't research and they didn't understand that it takes patience and it's not going to lock overnight. It takes time and patience and understanding when you get when you decide to go on this journey. And then, you know, people don't they don't research it and you have to research. Hey. I was looking at locks for like two, three years before I decided to lock. And when I decided to lock, I, I'm, I'm still learning and I'm still watching other people's videos and learning, you know. And it's a life, it's a, you learning for the whole time of your journey anyway about your hair. Because some things that's working like working for you now, it might not work for you later on down the line. Sometimes you're going to have to switch up and find other things. So you constantly learning what works and what won't work in your hair during even if you are loose natural for the whole journey of being natural a loose natural or a lock nat locked you have to you going to be learning throughout this throughout that whole journey because after a while some things don't work just like when you was getting relaxers after a while a certain relaxer won't work in your hair anymore so you or your beautician had to switch to a different relaxer because after a while, that relaxer stopped working. So it's a learning process throughout your whole life while you're doing that. So people, if you want locks, please do your research. Research. And for those that had locks for a year, two years, three years, and you wanted to cut your locks, hey, I'm happy for you. Do what works for you. Forget 
um, forget those people that's throwing you shade and talking bad about you. That's what you want to do. I mean, I'm quite sure maybe one day I might want to uh, cut my locks off. I might. I'm even thinking about taking them down and making them smaller due to the fact that my hair is thin. You know, I feel like mine are, little, are too thick. But I don't know. I might do it. I might not. You know, but it's a learning process. It's, it's just what you want to do. I'm happy for you. If you want to cut your hair, if you want to shave it all off, if you want to take them off, pick them, um, just take your locks down without um, comb, with, with, um, what you call it, combing them out. That's what you want to do, do it. You know what I'm saying? But for those who only had them for a month, two months, and then saying, oh, they didn't lock fast enough for me, or I it is a process. And please research before you jump into getting locks. Or before you jump on a loose natural hair on anything, before you jump on the research at first. I've seen a lot of people who go, who go natural, and then only stay natural for a month or two because they didn't research it. Oh, I can't deal with it. I can't handle it. And then go jump right back into the relaxer. But then months later, after they have researched it, then they go back to being natural. Well, go back to locks. So research. Do your research before you just jump on anything. Research it first. And Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Um, comment down below any questions you have for me. Ask. If I know the answer, I'll give it. If I don't know the answer, if I know someone else who has the answer, I'll put their link in the answer to your comment. So, thumbs up, subscribe, and peace.